Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, you will be learning the economical selections of numbers of pies on a pie cap using the safe working loads of pie given in the subsoil geotechnical information. But before we go into that, I will let you know that there is a complete one hour 20 minutes videos that teaches in details how to design pile foundations in product structure. So the video will teach in details how to design pile cap, referencing the subsoil geotechnical information of the construction site successfully, and then proceed to design the pile itself, and after which the rate reinforcement required for all of the designs successfully and then the design calculations will also be generated in that video. It's a very detailed video. And so, the video, to get it, there is a link in the description of this particular video that you are watching right away. So, check the description of this video, you will see the link to get that video. Okay, so the video is in a zip format. Just like this. So, once you get it, you see the name, Pi Foundation Design Complete Training Video. Okay, so it's in a zip format, just like this, you get it. Okay, just have to right click on it and then click on extract. Okay, so once you extract this file, you have two files inside of this zip file, which are the main video itself. And I click and then you check the property of this video now. You will see that this is about uh, 140 MB. Okay, what uh, you know, file size. Okay, so it's a very large video, just as I've explained. It is about one hour. 20 minutes video that explain pipe foundation design the product structure. So you get this video and then alongside with the subsoil technical report. So this will guide you because this was actually used in the video. So if you open the subsoil technical report right away, just like this, you can be able to see it right here. So from here, you have to reference some very, very important uh, parameters for you to be able to carry out your pile foundation, which is all explained in this video. Okay, this parameter is what we are going to be using just a minute from now to select the number of piles, which I will teach you in this video successfully. So, this particular file, your technical subsoil report, is in the you know, alongside with the video. Once you get the two, once you get the the, the main file downloaded, you get all these two files in this main file as I expected earlier successfully. So, the link to get this video is in the description of this particular video. Okay, so let us make progress right away into how to select uh, the number of uh, piles on the pile cap. Like as you can see in this design I did, okay, you see I'm using the single piles. Okay, actually, when I carry out the uh, design of the piles pile cap. I was having in about uh, uh, five pies, okay. Some were giving me four pies, some were giving me eight pies, okay. But I was able to use this uh, strategy to get all of these to be one, one pies, okay. Which is strategy that I will explain to some point here, but you'll get the full explanation in the video, which you are going to get through the link in the description of this particular video successfully. So let us get started. I just deleted this uh, two. Pike up and pies on these two columns so that we use that to demonstrate what I'm about to show you in this video successfully. So, I haven't gotten this like this. Um, you are going to be referring to the uh, subsoil geotechnical information. So, as I will teach you some uh, you know parameters there to use in the design successfully. So, in the design of piles, pie cap, it is very important you reference the table in the subsoil geotechnical report. It's very important. It is through this table you get the you know, uh, ultimate compression uh, load, okay, to be to be used to design the pile cap successfully. But if you want to design the, I want to show you another table which you will use to design the pile itself, okay. So uh, you have to scroll down. This is this table, okay. This table is the table you're going to use to design the pile itself, okay. So this all of this is explained in that video. So just get the video through the link in the description of this video. If you're not watching the video online, you are going to download it and have it in your device. Okay, which you can always watch it anytime without connecting to a network. You get so that explains all of this how you can use this table to design your pile successfully and generate your pile report according to the layers and the structure where you anchor your pile successfully. So, in this case, if we check over here, we will have this uh, first table of the safe working load of uh, piles. Okay, we notice that the pile diameter are given here to be 300, 450, and 600 millimeters. Okay, and as you can see the depth of uh, you know, the depth of penetrations, okay, is 10 meters, right? And then we see the same work 
working load of buyers successfully and here in the pastors of 17 that they use okay so for you to now apply this successfully on the design of your bike up you should have to multiply it, the safe working load by the factors of safety okay so once you multiply safe working load by the factor of safety you will now have okay the value including to used and designed your bike up which is going to be the ultimate compression uh, uh, capacity okay so now for instance if you choose your pie uh, cap to be 300 you are going to use 230 kilometers multiplied by um, um, factors of safety to be able to design and this will give you some numbers of pies on the bike cap the same thing applicable to 450 and 600 successfully so how to rightly select this is you have to also check in the market to make sure that you have a drilling bit that is capable of drilling up to you know uh, 600 or 450 uh, diameter spy successfully so once you must have confirmed that and then you apply this you see the difference in using 300 millimeters by 450 millimeters by and 600 millimeters by okay this will be fully explained in that video that you will get to the link in the description of this video but i'll just throw more light on this 300 millimeters uh by diameter so we are having 230 kilonewton okay so having 230 kilonewton if you use this 230 kilonewton to multiply by factors of safety so you will be having 322 by the, by the time you multiply it that successful so the 322 is now your ultimate um, compressive strength okay that we're going to use to design into our structure successfully with respect to you know 300 millimeters uh, by diameter and as well 10 meters okay depth successfully so let's get right into that. Let's see how it works. So over here, you can see we have this. Just head over to this provision where you have a setting icon right there. And then once you click on that, this is going to open up a setting. Come over straight away to the foundations, provisions, and then click on the pie cap right there. So over here, you have to configure. You see what I have right, right away is uh, is a 600 millimeter pie, circular pie. So in this case, we have 300 millimeters pie right there. And then the depth right there is... Uh, well, it is 10,000 millimeter, which is uh, uh, 10 meters, and then you see the ultimate compression capacity. So, in this provision now, we are in 322 right here. Okay, so you keep in 322, and then the ultimate uh, uh, tension uh, capacity is 50. Okay, for for the spacing, you have it to be 3. So, all of these are actually fully explained in the video. You will get through the link in the description of this video. So, there is a detailed explanation of this. So, get all of the settings done just like this. Click on the OK, after which you have to select this but before you select this you have to navigate to the foundations level and if you check in this structure there is no grid lines on it so i have to now activate the grid lines so to activate grid lines you need to get over to this provisions building set out and then come to layers and color settings so in the dialog activate the grid lines right there click on ok after which you see a grid line comes up so we are already at the foundation level select the columns and respected columns right click and then insert the pie cap so once you click on that this is going to actually uh, carry out designs of the pie cap to show us the pie cap uh, dialog where we can interact and see the numbers of pies we have on the pie cap. So you can now see that this particular pie cap is having about uh, one, two, three, four, eight pies on it. Okay, successfully. Right, so if you click on the OK now, we see all of that will be inserted successfully, just like this. You can now see that we have eight pies right here. So having eight pies, you can see that these same eight pies are used to design for only one pies. Okay successfully which is what you are going to be seeing in this video okay the video that you will get through through the link in the description of this video so get that video if you really want to understand how to design pipe foundation from start to finish okay from start to finish that video will teach you everything you need to know okay so because you have to try to make your design economical okay with this i have done this is not economical at all look at i'm having about how many pies eight compared to this one that i'm having only one Okay, so this is more economical as compared to this, right? So in the video, you have a full explanation of how this is carried out successfully and you can be independent in your design successfully, all right? So get the video if you have any question and drop it in the comment sections or through my Telegram page or you can WhatsApp me. In the description of this video, I have the links to reach to me right away, okay? So we believe this video to stop here. And then don't forget to get that video so that you can be independent in the design of my foundation successfully. As I actually place a discount on that video, stay safe and stay connected by subscribing. Okay, see you in the
bless presentation thank you